going to let you know about different type of movement once we place the probe then we can do like this sliding movement sliding movement is very necessary to check vascular anatomy if you want to scan aorta or any vessel grade vessel or inferior vena cava then we do sliding movement usually there are four different type of movements which which today i will discuss so now this is rocking movement as you know that there is a type of chair known as rocking chair and this is curve linear probe so uh, rocking movement is only rocking movement can be easily done on this probe so what we do we just place the probe longitudinally and just angulate the probe towards cranial side or angulate the probe downward foot side so once if if i am doing a rocking movement so uh, my probe is at one side but we can take deep image of any another side now after rocking movement there is one similar movement also which i will discuss with you but first you have to understand about the rocking movement that rocking movement is very helpful to take image from one end to another and we are just changing the position of sound waves and this is how we can able to take image we are not changing our hand now next movement is the tilting movement which is quite similar like rocking movement but in tilting movement what we do we place probe transversely and when we will place probe transversely we will either tilt the probe cranially or caudally this this is another technique when we do subcostal scan of the liver we usually do tilting movement to visualize whole liver so tilting movement is the third movement which i have explained you if i will take from the epigast hypogastric region either rocking movement or uh, tilting movement we can able to see prostate or any instructor uh, guide you to uh, turn your probe for uh, tilting or rocking movement so you can easily able to understand that is the main reason for making this video another movement is the ro rotating movement we are not changing our hand just we are doing rotating movement rotating movement is very helpful for the assessment of any vessel if uh, we are taking transverse section of any blood vessel or uh, any organ image and when we rotate our probe longitudinally hana from the same side we can able to assess the organ longitudinally also hope you will able to understand the tilting rocking sliding and rotating movement okay thank you this is rocking movement and dhanyawad okay dhan